All right, Shalom. Call Hello, Yim La, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Wahar, Kakbadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule up for teaching me this truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, to you brothers out there, you know, across the globe, pushing this truth with all righteousness and sincerity. And to you, few sincere sisters who hearken as well diligently. Peace, love, and blessings. Kaya here, back with another video. And um, this is just going to be, you know, kind of like a. Um, what do you call it? Like a rebound video. I was trying to do a live stream earlier, you know, talking about uh, Jake in the Philippines. I tried it twice. My fucking computer started crashing and things of that nature. You know, you know how Satan get down. It is what it is. But Lord's willing, I'm going to do a video another day. And I want to do that one live. That one in particular live or whatever the case. But um, I'm going to just go ahead and like I said, I'm going to do like a, you know, quote unquote rebound video. And um, this is uh, this is an article that I literally just found not too long ago. <laughs> You know, it, it, it just kind of, you know, made me laugh. And it just, it's one of those things where just like the most high, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is so mysterious, man. All right. You you just never know the mind of the most high. You don't, you don't know his works. Okay. We we do not know his works. We don't, we don't, we don't know. Uh, we don't understand fully how the most high operates except, you know, by the law and by faith. All right. By faith in the law, you know. And before I go into this article, as a matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and um pull that scripture real quick. I'll just go ahead and pull that scripture real quick. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 55. Oh, there it is. Chapter 55. Maybe nine. I had bought it out on one of the videos I had there earlier this morning. But this is the book of Isaiah chapter 55. Verse um, 8, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord, Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. All right, and this goes for everybody, man. Okay? This goes for everybody. Now you have Esau, Edom, you know, the uh, the self-proclaimed white man, all right, the red devil, big pinky on the planet, you know, who, who, who has his, you know, marine... Uh, a biologist, okay, his his oceanographers, his archaeologists, and so on and so forth, and all of these ographers and ologists and things of that nature, you know, trying to see how vast the oceans are, how vast the land is, you know, trying to explore these these hidden caves and some of these things. So he he is able to you know find out and prove with quote unquote science, which the word science just means to know. All right, science just means just simply means knowledge, okay, but. You know, over the course of time, over the years, science has, you know, uh, 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 basically, you know, su submitted to what's written in the Bible, man. Okay, if that makes any sense, like science has has proved even more that the scriptures are real. You know, and I mentioned it in in you know times past before, talking about how they found Lot's wife. Okay, they found Lot's wife. They found no. Uh, they found Noah's Ark. You know. Hell, just recently, the, the Euphrates River finally dried up, which that's in the scriptures as, as, as well, man. Okay. So, so these, these, you know, scientists, these Edomite scientists, they're trying to figure out, you know, why every, like they, they're trying to find out the origin of everything, which they will not be able to, you know, but we, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, when we get in the kingdom, because we can explore, you know, certain things to a certain degree, you know, in this life now, but we're going to have every single bit of information when we get into the kingdom of heaven, which will be established on earth. Okay. But, you know, going back to the point or continuing on in the point and things of that nature, you know, we just for right now, we're not going to know every single little thing, man. All right. We don't know the minds of the, mo we don't know the mind of the most high, you know, we don't know. Well, we, we don't, we don't, we don't know the, uh, the, the, the angels who, who, you know, who the most saw orchestrated and set up to create the world. All right. Because it was the angels that created, you know, the world, the heavens and the earth, you know, and the, 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 the sun and the moon, the light and the dark and things of that nature. But all the credit goes to the heavenly father, because like I said earlier, he orchestrated it. Now, with that being said, this article right here. All right. It says, um, biblical evidence story shows, uh, excuse me, biblical evidence story goes viral after Joe Rogan notices it. He couldn't sleep after learning this. And now Joe Rogan, cause I'm not, I'm not too familiar with this individual, you know, uh, 
I know, I know, I know a lot of people listen to him. Like you know, some certain coworkers in the, in the, um in the past had had uh, listened to him and things of that nature. But I know, like I said, I I I know he's um he's he's huge on you know like looking up information and you know uh uh, uh success and all of these other things and you know just all of that all of that good stuff, man. All right. So in the article it says on Thursday, podcast king, sportsman, and comedian Joe Rogan shared a story on Instagram about a massive amount of water recently discovered by scientists far beneath the surface of the planet. And the post went viral, with many saying Rogan just inadvertently shared science that it is likely proof of something seen in the Bible, okay? Which, once again, these scientists are starting to see that the Bible is more accurate than what people make it out to be, okay? Now, and I'm going to I'm gonna jump down because, of course, I'm not going to read this whole article. I'm going to jump down and things of that nature uh, 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 soon. You know where where uh this is actually mentioned. So it's basically water under water, all right. This is basically water under water, all right. It says Rogan found a story about what scientists found in rocks 400 miles beneath the surface of the Earth. He found it to be an amazing story and posted it to Instagram, joking about how the story made him stay up late at night to investigate. All right. Now I want to jump down just real quick to what he said. Oh, well, let me read this first. It says, scientists discover a massive ocean beneath Earth's surface bigger than all the seas above land. Look, mysterious, look, behold, an enigma, man. Behold, and if you don't know what that word means, go, go look it up. You know, because Jake is lazy as all hell, but go look it up, man. Behold, an enigma. Okay? Scientists discover a massive ocean beneath Earth's surface bigger than all the seas above land. All right? That's that's a mystery to us right now. Uh, for right now, all right. We we don't know why it's there. We don't know why the Most High did it. We just know the Most High did it. Okay. Um, and this is what Joe Rogan said because this is his post via Instagram. It says, um, Joe Rogan. Seven hundred seven hundred thousand nine hundred eighteen likes. It says, me man. It's after two a.m. I should probably get some sleep. Article, did you know that there's an absolutely massive supply of water hidden underneath the Earth's, surf, uh, the Earth's crust that's three times bigger than the oceans that sit on the surface? Me, no, I did not know that. And now that's all I'm interested in. Fuck sleep. It's rabbit hole time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and, and that's that's how that's how we got to be in this truth. OK, it's rabbit hole time. I don't know what this means. Let me go digging. OK, let me go digging for as much as I can. All right. Because what the scriptures tell us to be diligent. All right. The scriptures, as a matter of fact, I could pull that, too. I could pull that, too. Um, I think it's in Tim uh, Timothy. All right. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right? Because what? In this ministry, all right, we, we, we are workmen. We are workmen. All right? So what we have to study, we have to, you know, read, which the word read means understand. Okay? We got we got we to gotta dissect because that's what that, um if I'm not mistaken, that's what the word divide in that scripture means. Dissect. Okay? And just to make sure I'm on point. What was that? 2 Timothy 2 and 15. 2 Timothy 2. Jumping down to verse 15. It says, Study to show thyself. I'll read it again. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, so going into the interlinear. All right, going into uh, the word dividing. All right, this is um, ortho, ortho tomeo. Strong's G thirty seven eighteen, ortho tomeo, ortho tomeo. All right, it says to cut straight, to cut straight ways. 
to proceed on straight paths, hold a straight course to doing right. Okay. And you know, uh, 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 Seth Rogen, you know, jokingly said it, but he just, he was just like, you know, fuck sleep is rabbit hole time because in this truth, when you, when you come into this ministry, you, you, you realize that we actually don't have a lot of time to, you know, rest and sleep and, you know, play around and things of that nature. We don't have a lot of, even though, you know, we, we, we do that at times because what well, we got to give certain occasions to the flesh. Okay. But we can't give too much time to those things. So there are certain, you know, times and brothers can attest to it. You know, myself as well. There's been times where I'm just like, like, I, like, I, I, I just can't go to sleep. You know, I, I got, I got to do a videos. I got to, I got to, I got to read, you know what I'm saying? Like I got to do something because there's just something going, oh, oh I got to pray, you know, and brothers have many testimonies on that. All right. Yeah. I was going through the same thing in the world. Just like I wouldn't be able to, instead of sleeping, I would just be working on you know, one of my hobbies or something like that. Okay. Staying on a, a, a straight path. All right. And that's how we have to be in this ministry, man. It says to make straight and smooth, to handle a right, to teach the truth directly and correctly. Okay. So rightly dividing the word of truth, man. All right. Teaching the truth directly and correctly. All right. Strong's definition, you know, or thought to, or, 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 or thought to mayo. It says from a compound of G, Three, uh, 3717 and the base of G5114, which the G just means Greek because the New Testament on the site is, is um uh, uh, written in Greek. All right. It says to make a straight cut figuratively to dissect, expound correctly the divine message, rightly divide. So there you go, man. Okay. And Esau Edom, all right, these, 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 you know, these pinkies. You know, they are very diligent in, in the things that they do. All right. They, they found the bones of our forefathers. They keep the cloths of our forefathers. All right. Of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, the Israelites, the 12 patriarchs of Jacob. Okay. They, they have, they have, uh, they, they've stored up so much information and they hold so much information that, that we don't even, uh, uh, uh for the most part, we don't even know what to even begin at, man. All right. Um, it says Rogan going back to the article, it says Rogan linked to a story from several days before about scientists who reported finding more water deep inside the earth than exists on the surface of the planet. The massive supply of water in 400 miles down. So it's not exactly accessible. The report from Unilad said, yeah, because what the instruments that these devils have created, you know, it's, it's, it's too weak. It's, it's too weak. All right. And the, like the, uh, the, the, like the, the deeper you go inside of like waters and things of that nature, the more pressure is, is going to be, you know, um, uh, 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 put upon certain instruments and certain people, man. All right. Like certain, like sometimes to the point to where like, well, obviously you suffocate, you going down that damn low. All right. 400 miles. That's, that's a way down. All right. That's a, that's a ways down, man. Okay. Well, you suffocate and what your, your eyes pop out. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you just, you explode, so to speak. All right. So now going down to what a point, because, um, it talks about the Bible, right? It talks about the scriptures. It says, as it happens, the separation of water is mentioned in the English standard version of Genesis one and seven, which says in the most high, which the word there is actually Allah Hayyim. Just to prove it, let's go to Genesis 1 and 7. Genesis chapter 1, verse 7, okay? In the blue letter, and made God, all right? The, now the word, it says Elohim, but this is the Assyrian Hebrew. All right, this is the Assyrian Hebrew. This is not the Paleo Hebrew, which is our actual tongue, which is what the Most High was speaking to our forefathers in, in, in their times, in their days, which the Most High is speaking to us now, and we're speaking amongst each other in the body. All right, so the word, it says Elohim, but it's actually Allah Hayyim, all right, Allah Hayyim, which means, which means powers, okay? And this is referring to the angels. Just to prove that, it says rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods, 
Okay. So there you go. And that's that's really the point. All right. So the angels that the most high created, they they um they they um they made way for the heavens and the earth and, and uh, uh the heavens and the earth and things of that nature, man. Okay. It says in God, which like I said, the word this Allahim made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. So the most high, yes. Yes, that's right. The Most High separated the waters, man. Okay, the Most High separated the waters. So you got water within water, which, you know, in the kingdom to come, all right, the Israelites who will be ruling over the world, we will be able to uh, observe all of these things, man. Okay? Shit, the, as a matter of fact, the, the brother, the brother Magan, okay, the brother Magan had, um, Posted something about um, cause I and I think I reposted it. He had posted something about in my father's house are many mansions. All right, let me see if I can pull it out real quick. Let me see. Let me see. It wasn't too too long ago. I don't think it was anyway. Let me see. It's like it just bear with me. I'm all over the place right now. Oh, was it this brother? It might have been somebody else, but in any wise. Alright, the scriptures say the scriptures say in my father's house are many mansions. Alright? Many mansions. Okay, and those mentions is talking about, you know, new heavens and new earths. Okay, new heavens and new earths, man. You know, which we, the Israelites, are going to, well, really the whole world is about to experience it. All right, because, <laughs> well, I, I'm going to save that for another day. But there is going to be a new heavens and a new earth. But going back to the point, going back to the point, okay, Yahweh al Shai, he does everything according to his will. All right, to his will. You know, so if the most I wants the, the waters to be separate, if he wants to have, you know, water underwater and things of that nature, it, he's doing it because it, it makes sense to him. It's a mystery. You know, same thing concerning Leviathan and the behemoth. All right. And speaking of new heavens and a new earth, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that and I'm going to close off on that. All right. Um. And there's three scriptures concerning such. I'll just go ahead and read all three of them through the spirit. All right. Isaiah 65 and 17, it says, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. Okay. So the earth that we're living in now, okay, it's still going to be inhabited. But what? The, uh, the, 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 the works thereof, the hurtful works, all the things that's hurting the world today, starting with Esau, Edom, all right, these damn big pinkies, these red devils. Okay, the most the most high is gonna do away uh, uh, with with their with their wicked works, man, and they're gonna be in subjection under the Israelites. All right, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, so the most high he's gonna create once again a new heaven and a new earth. The former, this world is not going to be remembered because the world to come is gonna be so much more beautiful, man. The worlds to come, we're about to, I can, we're about to inhabit planets, man. Okay. We're about to inhabit planets far beyond and, and see resources far beyond our imagination because we don't know what the fuck is out there. Okay. Isaiah 66 and 22, it says, for as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. So there you go. Our, our seed, our name is going to remain. All right. Because it's not humans destroying the earth. All right. It's one. It's one race of people destroying the earth and encourage everybody else to do so as well. And we all know who it is, man. Okay. Second Peter three and 13, it says, nevertheless, and this is in the new Testament, you know, it says second Peter three and 13, it says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. All right. So we, we looking for, you know, the, uh, the, the next world to come. We're looking for the world to, to be inhabited 
and, you know, ordered our right and correctly because we're supposed to keep, you know, not only our own Sabbaths, but a land Sabbath as well. All right. But you, but you see them, you know, big pinky, these damn red devils, they, they rob, they destroy the earth every single fucking day. I mean, hell, look at, and, and proof of that, look at all of these train der derailments, man, you know, of, of toxic chemicals leaking into the water. The most high has to clean all of that shit up. All right. Yeah, how was Shah who the world calls Jesus Christ has to clean all of that shit up so that we'd be able to drink it and, and you know, handle our business in those waters again, man. All right, the earth is polluted. Okay? But that was really the point on that. You know, so we got we got a lot of things to look forward to. So Joe Rogan, you know, on the spine, he um <laughs> of course of course he'd be going crazy about it. Shit, I would too. Now I also want to play um a portion of this video. Because I had seen this like a while back when I was on uh, 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 my social media account and things of that nature. I think I think this is the same guy or whatever. But, you know, it was a um, it was a it was a marine. I think he was a marine biologist who discovered like a lake underwater or water underwater. I don't know if these are the same things, but it sounds similar. But I just wanted to go ahead and play it. But he, he had discovered it and things of that nature. And um, I think like a couple weeks later, he had died. You know, the most I took him out. One of the strangest places on the ocean's floor was only just discovered in the 1990s. And my degree is one of a handful of people to ever see it in person. Without a doubt, one of the most amazing things that I have ever seen in the bottom of the ocean. It was while filming for Blue Planets in the Gulf of Mexico. I noticed there's something out in the distance. Couldn't tell exactly what, but it looked like a dark band. And as we approached it, the dark band became a donut. I saw this donut. It was black in the center. What the heck is that? And so as we get closer and closer to it, I noticed that the black band had what appeared to be kind of steam over it. And then I looked, and there was water lapping against the shoreline. This band... So there you go, man. Okay, that was really the point on that. And like I said, I think it was a couple weeks later he had he had died. The most I took him out. All right, but um, Lord's willing, this is this video was edifying. All right, and again, the the most high is mysterious, man. We don't know his ways. Okay, call him Shalom.